Powder Puff is basically offering um, this mirror towards you, saying, like, yeah, pick one. Take it. Well, do we have to pick just one, man? Or can I, like, do all four? Um, she, she goes, ah, like, why don't you start with one? Because there's, there's three of you, and I just think, uh, let's... Well, let's go one each, and then maybe maybe you can have the mystery line if you want the other one. I mean, I'll well, just take it now. I'll I'll, I'm, take... I'm, okay. I'm jumping in. Sorry, you're, you're just taking too long. I mean, like you've had too many <laughs> joints. I just got to get in there. I, I know which one I want. I want the cake because you know since the accident, things are just kind of strange. And if I don't mix it up, then I just feel like it's not really working for me because everything is happening all the time because of this whole thing that's got going on in my inside since the thing came on me. So I would just like to hit it up now. Plus, I haven't had a line in like at least. Five minutes. I gotta, I gotta get back up in there. If you know what I mean. So I'll take the cake. Totally, bro. It's all, right. all you. <laughs> that takes the cake. <laughs> and I was. So your name is sh like Shrivly. Shrivly, Shrivly. Like okay. So Shrivly took the third line, which was identified as cake. Shrivly surely knows what that means. Shrivly does. Shrivly's calming down a bit, but also is now also extra alert. Well, hold that thought. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I believe uh, Smokey was kind of the next person who was like, I'd jump it at the bit here. Yeah, I'm like, I feel like I just need to chill out a little bit. Um, so I'm going to take the K because like, I just like, I'm feeling a little anxious, you know? So like, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take that line number two there. Line number two. Okay. Powder, 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 powder puff. Yeah, so you're going to take line number two? Oh my god, powder puff! I just got that because you're like doling out powders. Oh yeah, you know they're they're clever around here. Oh shit, that's so good. All right, uh, well there are uh, two lines left. Uh, so you, uh, I, Ivan, uh, which would be how they pronounce it in Croatia, unless no. you've anglicized it to Ivan. No, it's Ivan. Okay. Um, I'm definitely going to uh, stare at Powder Puff for an uncomfortable amount of time and then abruptly snort the fourth line because I'm line. adventurous. I want the mystery blow because there's a chance it's not one of these boring drugs. All it's right. something cooler. And Powder Puff goes, cool. Well, if you guys don't mind, maybe I'll have the first line because this one is blow because it's on the... Wait, and then she kind of takes her hands up and does the left right thing. And she's like, well, my, my my left. And as she's trying to figure that out, uh she's she's kind of puzzling over these lines. Uh Bearcat comes back with the containers of drugs that Powder Puff never grabbed, mm. marked with red, blue, green and pink tape. He asks her why she didn't give them out yet and she explains that she did showing him the containers she used, with our, which are marked with red, blue, green, and pink tape. Slowly, he realizes with creeping horror the mistake she's made. Sweaty snuggle, buddy, he says. You were dispensing from the maroon, navy, forest, and magenta ones. She stares at him blankly. He continues, you were supposed to get out the scarlet, aqua, lime, and lavender ones. After an awkward pause, he adds, it's fine, just scoop it all back on the right container and put this stuff on the mirror for our friends here extending his supply to her and gesturing toward all of you collectively. So he he's he thinks you haven't taken anything yet. Oh, I don't know if I'm like super high or what, but I thought that I already took it, but like maybe this guy is right. Did we does anyone else remember if we took the drugs already? Uh, I definitely didn't take any drugs and would certainly need another, thank you. Oh, I certainly yeah. I mean I mean my first one. <laughs> So, uh, well, that last one is on the mirror. Is anybody going to, like, just go to snatch it? Or it seems apparent that she didn't give you the line she thought she did. All right, no takers. So she pulls it away, and he starts going, oh, shit. Okay, so you took, and he looks at the uh, containers that she did pour out. So, uh, Smokey, what you have taken a big, fat line of is 2CD. <laughs> Nice. And uh, so uh, each of you, depending on which substance you took, uh, you are actually going to uh, gain an extra uh, skill and an extra weakness. 
So if you already have the skill or weakness, there's no effect. So like I already obviously know what two CD is because I've been to Sham five times. But like if you could explain it to my peeps here that we just did the lines with, that'd be sick. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that. So the two CD in, in <laughs> okay. the practical effects, you have gained, you've gotten better at resilience if you're not already good at that. And um, you, you're now, you're, you were now good at resilience and bad at agility. Um, oh, I was already those things. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no change. <laughs> Do you uh, want to make me doubly good at resist resilience and doubly bad at agility? Uh, I don't know how we would do that. Um, we'll come. We'll come back to that. Uh, so next, uh, Shrivelly, you've taken two C E, a big fat line of it, and uh, this has made you good at stealth, but bad at intimidation. Sneaky. Okay, well, I was I was good at intimidation before, so that um, just cancels out. You're normal at intimidation. Okay, okay, uh, but I am now also good at stealth. Which so is you good, note that. which is really good because um, I'm going to be seeing a whole lot of things right now, and uh, if people didn't see me, that would <laughs> that would be helpful. I, who knows what I'm about to get get up to? <laughs> That's right. And finally, we have Yvonne, who has taken two C I. Uh, this is making you made you good at persuasion, but bad at speed. Hmm. And Smokey was in the process of trying to ask, well, what exactly is this substance I've taken? Uh, and you start getting an answer, but it's not too long before you can't really parse people's answers. And this is an experience that's kind of happening to all of you simultaneously. While you all begin to panic, reality begins to break apart. Colors swirl like tracers, intensifying as music amps up in the background. The drop of the music coincides with a pulling back of perspective in which your viewpoint withdraws from your physical form like an out-of-body experience, zooming out in both space and time in a manner that shows you that everything you've ever experienced in this life, past, present, even future, was just one arc on an infinite repeating metaphysical sine wave. And as you pull back that space, pull back, that space time shrinks to a manageable size a little fragment of reality and a fractal of infinitely nested realities. As that small reality collapses into a single point, you experience this profound deja vu. As you find yourself experiencing another lifetime, every bit as long and as real as the one you just lived, the only one you thought you'd ever had, but somehow also condense into a manageable, perceivable stretch of time from this new vantage point. This pattern repeats, and you realize that you've been living slight variations of the same life for eternity, and yet... You also sense that each loop is occurring and collapsing slightly faster and more intensely each time, culminating uh, in your death in a sense of collapse. And this goes on for infinity loops until finally the pulling back experience uh, pulls back from a collapsed reality into an ineffable purple void, the various realities being little tears along the courses of big long electric streaks of biochemical pink lightning as they shrink and snap shut. Finally, the recursion seems to pass and you find your completely disembodied selves adrift in this endless expanse, feeling spiritually like desiccated carcasses lying in the desert sand being picked at by carry-on. So you're now disembodied presences in a purple void. Shit, dude, that was fucking Oh no, wild. you can't speak, you're disembodied. Oh. Can I thank it at everyone? No, you can just perceive. I feel the bird peck at my flesh. Yeah, you definitely feel that. 